Hi everyone, it's Miss Katie here. Good to see you again. Today we're going to be read the, reading the book called Up and Adam by Debbie Zapata. Every morning, Up and Adam had a routine. Adam got dressed, Up made the bed. Adam lined up cups, spoons, and bowls, counting one, two, three. And Up's dog food always landed in a perfect pile in a dish. Today, Mom and Dad were huddled in the front of the TV. The news showed images of big storm last week. Adam thought about the dark, dark, that dark day. He and Up had hidden as the wind whipped, thunder rumbled, and rain poured. A familiar voice came from the TV. It was Madame Mayer. Good morning, Portville. I'm happy to report that the storm recovery is going well. But there is more to do. By coming together and looking out for one another, I know we can get there. Now it's time to get to work. Up and at em. Did Madame Mayer just tell Up and Adam to get to work? Sure sounded like it. Adam turned up. We can help. Up jumped into the wagon and they set off to check their favorite places. Crack, crack, crack. Sticks snapped under the wheels. Adam said, we can help. They picked up big sticks and little sticks and added them to the pile. Up, yipped, and Adam hummed as they cleared the sidewalk. When they were done, Adam smiled. Up smiled, too. When they got to the school, Adam spotted Mr. Janitor. Rattle, rattle, rattle. He was cleaning up toys scattered by the storm. Adam gave him a big smile. Hi, hi, he said. We can help. Adam parked the tricycles, up rolled the balls. When they were done, Adam smiled and waved goodbye. Mr. Janitor smiled too. Then, like every day after school, up and Adam visited the park. Tap, tap, tap. A girl's hammer hit a nail on the head. She reached into her pocket for another and came up empty. Adam gave her a big smile. Hi, hi, he said. We can help. He grabbed some nails from the toolbox and helped her fix the birdhouse. When they were done, Adam smiled and clapped his hands. The girl smiled too. Up and Adam dropped their favorite pe dropped by their pa favorite pizzeria. Sweep, sweep, sweep. A boy's broom brushed dirt in a, into a pile. Adam gave him a great big smile. Hi, hi. We can help. Adam held the dustpan and dumped the dirt. When they were done, Adam smiled and cheered. The boy smiled too. The owner thanked them with a slice of pizza. She didn't forget up. Hmm, thought Adam. Everyone loves a treat. Up and Adam hurried home. Adam turned on the oven. He lined up cookie sheets, rolls of dough, and his fav favorite rocking cutter. Beep, beep, beep. The oven was ready. Up and Adam baked batch after batch of chocolate chip cookies and loaded the wagon. They headed to the boardwalk, Portville's favorite gathering place. Hi, hi, Adam greeted each passerby with a cookie and an amazing smile. Word spread, more people came, some rode, others strolled, and a few rolled up. The line grew longer, the laughter grew louder, and the crowd grew cheerier. Up and Adam handed out cookie after cookie. Then a familiar voice came from the crowd. It was Madame Mayer. Adam, your kindness has pulled Portville together. Nice work. Adam smiled and gave her a high five. Madame Mayer smiled too. When the cookies were gone, Up and Adam waved goodbye and headed home. Every night, Up and Adam had a routine. Up yawned and stretched. Adam lined up the toothpaste, toothbrush, and rinse cup counting. One, two, three. As Adam brushed his teeth, he thought about the people they had helped. Some big, some small, some worried, and some holding out for hope. When they saw Adam smiling, they smiled too. That thought made Adam smile. Then Adam looked in the mirror and he saw that his smile made another smile and he realized a pair of smiles can make a difference. We pulled back the covers Adam climbed into bed as they snuggled together. Adam smiled. We helped, he said.